Hey guys, I'm Kirk, and welcome back to Egypt Old Kingdom. And our lands are in chaos. Apparently, the game might end in 10 turns. This is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. We can do some more of that, I guess. Sure. Like, it's, uh, it's far from great right now. Far from great. Okay, we got some extra people that can work. Let's see what kind of negative stuff we're gonna get. Oh, great. Chaos Train, plus 10. Papi II has died after living for more than 100 years, more than 90 of which he was a king. Not only most of his children, but even most of his grandchildren have died before him. A succession dispute has commenced among his descendants, with different people now vying to pretenders to the throne. Great! More Chaos Strength, but at least the set is nice to us. Oh, military threat! Our scouts detect military preparation. The scare people want to pillage our lands and are getting ready to attack. Where? This is 7 and 8 comes to power. During this period, kings change far too often. Affairs became gradually worse until chaos finally engulfed the country. Despite this, kings tried to copy their ancestors. Sultan has bonus plus 50%. What's even going on? Task Tomb of Ebi. Uh, so we only have to build one? How much does it cost? Like, I would really love to do that. It seems easy. <clears throat> it seems easy, but we do need the luxuries to placate the, the bastards. Civilization leaves the Indus Valley. Monsoons bringing heavy rains to the Indian subcontinents have shifted to the southeast, and the inundation of the Indus River have become unstable. People do not know what the river will bring next year. Draw the flood. Rising groundwater levels threaten to erode building foundations. Citizens of the great Mohenjo-Daro fear that soon they will have to leave their city forever. Yeah, I fear that as well. Uh, I fear that as well, my friends. There's uh, more friendly donkey people. You know what? Trading with donkey people over here is going to give us more stuff that we need, actually. There's the pig people that are friendly. Let's trade with them as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, how high are we? 50%. Placate. Placate. How much do we have? The problem is, if I... I need Seth. I will. I can get Seth on next turn. I will do that. So I'll not reform. I'm just gonna placate once again. Then we're gonna end the episode. And by episode, I mean the turn. Asia, Asia and Libya lost. Libyans and Asian sub subjects have declared independence, making use of Egypt's weakness. They consider us guilty for causing the drought and are playing revenge. Don't you worry, we don't have any Asian Libyan lands. What is this though? Excuse me. Ah, civil unrest. In one of our lands, people are agitated by the appearance of the false prophet. He says that our ways are evil and we suffer because of it. He says that the truth has been real to him and that the law should be changed. What shall we do? Three lands in unrest. 10% chance of rebellion every turn. 3% chance of peaceful resolution every turn. And the rest will be stopped. Suppress. This is five people? No. Reach an agreement. Oh, it's expensive. But... But screw it. Let it be rebellious. I'm getting Seth. Thank you, Seth. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're losing a lot of stuff right now. Don't talk to me at all. Oh, because we have two extra people. Because we lost some lands. Can you kill people? Actually. Actually, no. Yeah, overpopulation. This is bad. Our population is bad. Okay. I can't do any of these, huh? Amazing. Amazing. We're gonna die. Okay, so we're getting raided over here. Minus 25 enemy strength. Our strength is not the greatest. We're gambling. We're gambling with the scare people. Enemy commander killed. Let's uh, go for them. This should be fine. Enemy troops are shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarabs, you have no chance. You have no chance. Uh, exterminate the bastards. Wow, 46? Crime on the rise. Egyptians, deprived of bare necessities, are amassing into criminal gangs. They rob and kill to survive. They are not even afraid of curses. They're willing to rob the tombs of the great ancestors. Trial effect. Robbery chance 30% every turn. Kills turn plus 10. What is this garbage? 
We are the threat. Our scouts have detected military preparation. The lion people want to pillage our lands. Upper Egypt lobs. Nomarchs and high priests of Upper Egypt are assuming full power over their regions. Some will still nominally accept the horse of Memphis as the king, but we have no real power there anymore. <laughs> what is this even? Okay, lion people are attacking over here. Go there. What is this garbage? Are you kidding me? Oh, we're also so so badly overpopulated. How do I kill off my people? Oh yeah, disband workers. Disband them. Sure. Please. Disband them. We are very much overpopulated. I'm sorry, this trade is gonna have to stop. Probably. Um actually we gonna drop this guys. The pasture dudes. They're not the greatest. Yeah. The pasture dudes can go. Okay, we need to drop one more. One more, boys. You are not really producing anything and you're rebellious. Boom. Okay, it's not that bad. We're not overpopulated anymore, at least. We are 71%. Wow. 68. There's no way I can do this. I don't want to increase the chaos stuff. We can't do this. We can't perform the, the stuff. So I I think we're gonna die in like three turns. Oh, look at that. What? Three people died. People suffering. People are in despair and consider themselves doomed. Some of them still pray to the gods in the hope for their mercy, while others accept their fate. They're refusing to eat or drink, awaiting death. The entire old order has collapsed. There is no reason to live anymore. <sighs> um, six turns? Uh, there's no need for six turns. There's no need for six turns. It's We're dead before that. Way, way before that. Yup. Screw you, game. End of Akkadian Empire. In Mesopotamia, the empire created by Sargon is crumbling. There are hardly any rains and rivers run dry. Animals die of hunger and thirst, while people go south closer to the deltas. Nomadic barbarians fight farmers for water sources. They have defeated the Akkadian army and have taken the capital. The kingdom created by Sargon has fallen. Yeah, you know what? There's an Egypt over here that's gonna fall right now. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna fight those guys. Frightening the enemy, yeah, frightening the enemy. You have flying them. Lion people, why do you even? Why even? There's no real need. No, oh, there's something happening there. Blooming lands, excuse me? Middle Egypt lost. Amazing. Middle threat. Rabbit people want to pillage our land? There's a sandstorm? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Rabbit people used to be nice. Oh my god, middle Egyptian people, yeah, yeah, we lost everything, I know, I have realized that, go away. 92, we can reform to 89, so we might not die in the next turn, but after that we are pretty much dead. Oh, this area? Oh no, this area was pillaged? How horrible is that? Oh no, this is so horrible, please no. I mean, come on. Where's the blooming lens? Show. Oh, this one. That we can't really work, can we? We can. Uh, we can't trade with them. Is there anyone that's still nice to me that I can trade with? Not really, is there? Those guys. Those guys over here. Trade. Yeah, that's gonna give us plenty of luxuries. Look at that. That is a lot of stuff that we gain from that, please. That's actually gonna give us more of these to placate more people. Well, wars among gnomes. Great. The way of chaos brought a number of people to power in the regions who now consider themselves to be kings. They pray not to the king, but to the Osiris himself to reach eternal life. The petty kings conduct independent policies. They're even declaring wars on each other. Chaos trend plus 10%. Lower Egypt lost. No marks and high priests of Lower Egypt decide to follow the example of other regions and declare independence. We now only rule Memphis. Attack cancelled. Okay. Thank you, rabbit people. 
We're not fighting each other. So, if I am not mistaken... If I'm not mistaken... Well... <laughs> uh, you have to prevent Chaos Trend from reaching 100% or the game will be lost. What shall we do? Well, it's 109%, so... We can get it up to 103. Amazing. I think we lost the game. Warning. Chaos Training is at its peak and the world is on the verge of destruction. This is our last chance to word it. Chaos Training has reached 100%. Sandstorm over. Well, Seth's fit of frenzy is over. The storms have cal calmed down and life has gone back to normal. Thank you. We're not losing that much stuff. But we lost some people. They died again. Because they think they're special. Plague of Locusts. Oh, the gods are infuriated with us and have sent a plague. Immeasurable hordes of locusts attacked us and destroyed all our crops. Crops. It left people starving in great fear. Amazing. So, it's 100%. We can drop it below again. If you want to. I guess. I guess it gives us a chance to drop it again. After. Looks like it. Receivable unrest. No. No. Go away. Don't wanna... What is the reach the agreement? No. We can't afford to lose more luxuries. Um... Is there any more traders? Traders actually give us plenty of good stuff. We're trading here, we're trading here. We can trade with pig people. Let's put you there. Trade with pig people. Eh, it's not that great. But still something. We turn food into more uh, luxuries that we need. Currently, so as far as I'm concerned, that is not too bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we are at least under 100%, so we'll see how this goes. Well, I guess... Okay, Kier Strength is at speak again. What's going on? That was an earthquake, huh? Earthquake! The gods are outraged and sent a catastrophic earthquake to Earth. It is a reminder to us that we won't forget to revere them. Three buildings collapsed. Well... We can reform again. Oh, we can pray to Ta. Single fire collapse removed. Chaos Trend minus five. Nice! Can we do it again? Yes, yes. Pray to Ta again. Boom. I, I see we're overpopulated, okay? So shut up. We gotta just pray to Ta again. Good. We, good thing we had a lot of production. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah? 82! Not too bad! We might have a chance since, you know, reaching the 100% is not that bad, I guess. And we're not overpopulated again, so... Seems legit. Bandits, of course, why not? <laughs> a group of our impoverished workers organized themselves into a gang of criminals. They became bandits and now they are raiding farms and houses. Catching them is no easy task and no one knows where they are hiding. Shall we attempt to do something? Chance of crime happening every turn, 36. Chance to catch criminals every turn, 9%. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we have plenty of this, so I'll try to do some... Prevention. Sure. We'll see how that works. Uh, I guess we can get the new thingy. So, tomb construction minus 10. Don't care about that. Uh, this, please. Yes. Mummification stuff. I will wait again. There's one turn. 92. We can reform. We can placate. 86. I think this should be fine. But I guess we'll see. Try completed. Bronze victory. Ooh, we have done it. The world has not ended. The first intermediate period destroyed the old kingdom, but despite all divine maledictions, the king of Memphis managed to hold onto their power. Try completed successfully. Bronze victory. Finish the trial with chaos strength of 75 or lower to get silver. Additional one time bonus plus 60. Good victory. Thanks to your wisdom, Memphis kings managed to remain in power in the capital. That will allow us to preserve hope for the restoration of the old order in the future. Epilogue. Initially, people blamed the kings of, for the horrors of the first intermediate peer, period, but over time people grew tired of the chaos and once again started to seek the united strong rule of the king. A number of local rulers joined the race to unite Egypt. Heracl 
Cleopolis, Thebes and Memphis became the new centers. The road to foundation of the Middle Kingdom has begun. Close. Rebellion started, okay. Great, amazing. People disheartened by the indifference of Horus have started a rebellion. They refused to work and now are ready to fight for their convictions. Some of the people no longer heed the king, but we can still bring them back. Unrest. A lot of our troops joined the rebellion. Rebellious lands re refused to work. Task failed. You failed to complete a grand task in time. That was the construction. Late Dynasty 8 comes to power. This dynasty ruled during the harsh times after the collapse of the Old Kingdom. Only our actions will decide whether Egypt will rise again or will lie in ruins forever. So I guess <laughs> this is it. So we skipped a lot of stuff, apparently. We got 4 out of 31 a score. Amazing. Coco the First, you are wise as a helpless child. <laughs> He's face palming. <laughs> okay, uh, I like this game is. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I really enjoyed playing it, but it it fails at telling you what are you supposed to do. I mean, it tells you what you're supposed to do, but it doesn't warn you. Hey, if you don't do this in this certain time, then we're just gonna skip some more stuff. And that's kind of st stupid. Also, how did we fail the reforms? We... I don't know. I don't know. Let's examine the city. Rebellion. In one of our areas, people started rebellion because of false religious teachings. Local troops joined them and they usurped local power. Unless we do something, they will strive for independence. Sure. So, this is it, I guess. Uh, victory? Apparently? <laughs> Apparently we won? Game over? I can't even click on that? What? <laughs> can't even click on that, huh? Well, anyway, this is Digital Kingdom. We actually got till the end, which is surprising to me how I actually managed to survive. Like, the game, <laughs> it's not done. Like, there's quests and stuff. <laughs> I, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I had fun playing it, but I think it's too linear in its design. It should be a bit more free. I know it's trying to tell the history as it happened, but still, since I failed some tasks, or well, n not completed them in time, we just skipped a bunch of history of the historical stuff. That's kind of funny. I don't know what to say, but uh, you know what? I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did as well. For now, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below, share, like, subscribe, and see more doing magic, and I'll see you next time. Coco out.